My name is Amerka. I'm a GUK1 instructor living here in the Riviera Maya for almost five years. Um, before Mexico, I was living three years in the Maldives and mainly teaching recreational diving, but cave diving was always my passion. So my goal was to come here and develop my cave skills. And of course, a dream came true when, when I passed my cave instructor evaluation and I can teach what I really love. Um, in my free time, where you can find me is in the caves. You won't see me on the surface. And I'm mainly exploring caves with Laszlo, my husband, who is also a cave instructor for GUI. One thing is, I think what differs from, from other countries or other parts of the world, that uh, although Mexico is really famous about its caves, you, you still have access to the ocean, which is really, really beautiful. And you can do shallow reef dives to deep dives, wreck dives. Um, we have the bull sharks here in the winter time. Also, the cenotes, especially on the Yucatan Peninsula, are pretty deep. So they are also really cool for technical diving. And of course, we have the caves and most of the caves are really shallow. So even on cave one level, you can do pretty nice long dives here. Of course, these caves are most of them super, super decorated, pretty warm to dive in them all year round and the conditions are not changing. So whenever you plan your holiday or, or diving trip here, like 99% of the cases, the caves they have good visibility no strong flow the temperature is the same so you shouldn't worry about that and of course they will provide you that scenery but no other cave will provide and probably this is what you will see on on our diving videos today that it is just amazing it feels like you are in a different world <laughs> you can't get bored of these caves even after many years diving in them Buenos días. Yeah. Okay. Sí. Yes. Gracias. Sí, claro. Gracias. All right, we will drive on the other side of the road now. Okay, this is the gate of San Antonio Blue. We saw a scorpion, so be careful. Good, do you want to see the water? This is one of the first cenotes which was explored here. Very famous dive site for training as well. So probably if you do your cave training here in Mexico, you will visit this place. Uh, it has a huge open water area, so a lot of swimmers during the day here. Um, also nice for practicing maybe scootering. The entrance, you have a steep slope to run the reel down, so good practice. The cave is changing a lot. In the freshwater it's more like darker, yellowish, um, greenish formations. And once you hit the hillock line level, below the hillock line is like white and you can see that clear blue water. So we will see later why it is called Mayan blue. Okay, we have here below us, here we have tunnel A entrance. This is where we will get in. Past the bushes, we have tunnel B. This, both these tunnels are going inland, upstream. And at the far end side of the Sanota, we have the dead zone. And this is the downstream side of the cave system. Look at this crystal clear water, no? Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. This is wall, this is wall, this is wall. 
Okay, so the goal of the dive is to visit the hostage hole and on the way back recalculate and then visit the dead arrow passage. I think uh, why this uh, room is really special because the main tunnel in the fresh water will be really like yellowish, greenish, uh, not as decorated. But once we hit that halocline level, it feels like you are in a different cave system. The formations will be completely white. You will have crystal clear blue water and you will have lots of decorations, stalagmites, stalactites, big columns and the room is pretty wide as well so I think with the video lights it will look really cool to look in. Unified team will be Eric in the front and me a second. Let's go. One more tank to go. Okay. Let's check for bubbles. Oh, good. No bubbles. So here we can see our GUE standard equipment configuration. Most of our gear in GUE was developed from cave exploration and this was delivered to into our training and into our diving. And GUE divers are using almost the same type of equipment for, for different environments. And as you can see, we use both of us the back plate, same type of wing. Um, we clip the long holes in the same spot. The canister light is placed, for example, into the right waistband. Um, also, um, not only the equipment configuration, which is standardized, but this equipment is combined with standardized procedures. So this makes us a unified team and we can work underwater very easily with each other, even if we never met in life and we are pretty familiar with each other's gear and each other's skills as well.
So how cave diving changed me as a person? Well, um, I think I, I'm more relaxed, especially in the water and made me a diver who is thinking ahead. It's not only affected my diving, but generally life to prepare for a dive, how to organize the days. So I'm generally, I feel more organized and thinking clearly always, rationally. And of course, cave diving is the one which switches me off completely. So this is something which gives also addiction, I think. It's some kind of addiction, but good type of addiction. <laughs> and I think for other people as well. We always work during Christmas time. I don't mind, it's very nice. I think Christmas day to day to spend in the cave. Ready to go and see the sun, okay? Yeah? Okay. So it's not too far, so we don't have to walk a lot, but we need to uh, carry all the stages down. But I would like you to see the, the Sanota and then I will draw a map and explain the plan and probably, I hope you will agree with me. <laughs> this way. Careful here. So look at this. This is Sanote Corazon or in Mayan Chupich, which means swollen eye. Um, and if you look at the Sanote, it has a little bit like a heart shape. So that's why it is called Corazon, as heart. And all year around, the visibility is like this in the open water. It's super clear. It has two entrances. Uh, one here down, where we can see this drop off, this slope going down, that's the upstream. The tunnel which is going inland, it is not so extensive. And on the far end side of the Sanota, we have the downstream cave entrance. And that is the one which is connecting into Sistema Ospalha, which is the second longest underwater cave system in the world now, <laughs> today. Um, yeah, many people like to go in the upstream because it's more solid, more like dark formation. If you have been in Naharom before, it's, I think, similar. And the downstream is changing a lot and has much uh, bigger tunnels and a lot of interconnecting passages, a lot of jumps. And I believe still a lot of uh, possibility to explore something new here. Um, although, as I said, the conditions are not too great. Usually uh, the percolation starts pretty fast, especially once hitting that helocline level. Um, but there is a tunnel connecting underwater, the upstream and the downstream. And this is one of the tunnels I would like to visit with you today. Okay, so we will, once we gear up, we can clip the stages here down. I can put a line or clip on this rope. And um, then one, once we get in the water, we go down here on these steps. Can we walk over there? Yeah, sure. This wasn't like this in 2017 and 18. They just recently um, builded all these platforms here for the swimmers. And they are cleaning out the water and it's very nice. And now from the smoke, we can't see much, but basically here you have another depression going down, a smaller, much smaller entrance than the upstream. But once you are in, it's, it's going to open out. I think this Sanota is a little bit like uh, a small car wash. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's beautiful. And you will see that when we are ascending, probably full of people. <laughs> Especially if you are cave one, cave two, cave DPV, this cave offers everything for all levels. So it's very close to Tulum, very close to San Mayan Blue, if you are familiar with that. Um, and as I said, here you can have everything shallow dive, deep dive, complex dive, simple dive. So lots of Sanotas connected close by. 
and probably we will be able to reach one of them today. And these cenotes are only accessible from the cave. <laughs> no roads to them, middle of the jungle. What got you into diving? Well, um, I was always in the water as a kid because I was swimming and then I played water polo. And my brother started diving before me and he was convincing me a little bit to go. And during family holidays, I was always, you know, snorkeling, looking around, but I was always curious what is below. So on one of the holidays, I decided to get in the water and start diving. And I was completely um, amazed by the ocean. So I decided I need to continue this. When I got together with my husband, <laughs> Uh, back in the time he was also diving so we were forcing each other into going higher and we were thinking about why we don't do this every day and become instructors and in 2014 we left Hungary and we moved to the Maldives as open water instructor and this was the time when we were looking for something more serious and you know a little bit more uh, stronger standards and we found GUE and we invited one of the Hungarian instructors to come to the Maldives and, and teach us and it completely changed our mindset and we decided that this is the way of diving and this is also the way of teaching uh, divers. In 2016 we became GU instructors and Mexico was always a place we were uh, thinking about because we were interested in cave diving. So back in Europe we did the K1 in France but uh, we were always amazed by all the videos which were made here in Mexico. After 2017, we came here and now almost for five years we are living here. We became cave instructors, which is one of the, our main passion, although we teach recreational and foundational levels as well. Now, I think our main passion is cave exploration, finding something new. That feeling when you enter in a tunnel where no human ever been before and you are the first one is, is something I think very special to feel. And for me, the other special thing to feel is when I see success in my students' eyes and when I see their progression and how they feel comfortable in the cave environment and, and continuing their journey and share my passion towards the cave and show them that a small percentage of humans are able to see these places. So I think we are very lucky <laughs> with this one. For me, when I get into the cave, I completely forget about all problems in my life or everyday things. It's, it's a com still you focus, of course, but it's a different world under there. And this is what you guys are gonna see, hopefully, very soon. Okay, this is the upstream, you said? Yeah, it, it, this is the downstream, but this tunnel is leading to the, to the upstream. You are in feet? Yep. Very cool. So upstream, downstream, uh, unified team, you and me, you will be diver number one, okay? Which means that all the navigation is for you. <laughs> and I will be in the back and I will be the deco captain on the way out.
one of the experiences from my diving career which made me a lot of emotions is my last dive on my previous workplace in the Maldives where we organized a full day trip and I've seen thousands of sharks swimming around me and the biggest present was a hammerhead <laughs> swimming nearby and you know I was just amazed by the nature and I was really grateful that I can be there with all that creatures around me and I was also grateful for my instructors to to have those skills to to be there and being able to to do, do those dives and and stay safe but really it was just a grateful moment maybe one of the most grateful moments in my in my diving career so far I believe even if uh, we were trained well during our GUE class, it is sometimes worth to, to get a local guide who really knows the dive sites, can take you to special places. And as well, one thing that we are not just taxi drivers underwater, we put you in the work, you are doing all the navigation while we are uh, feedbacking you constantly underwater and of course after the dive. And I think you can still improve a lot. Um, focus on maybe more advanced parts of the dives and, and get more experience in an environment you are already familiar with and to really visit special places what you are not able to do by yourself.